Good morning, spirit-filled ones. God promised us through the prophet Joel in Joel 2, 28 through 29, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. Over the years, there has been a widespread misconception about being baptized with the Holy Spirit. So I believe the Lord would like us to examine the scriptures on this subject. First of all, Jesus said in Luke 22:49, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. See, this was only the beginning. There is no end to this kind of beginning. You'll never come to an end when you receive the Holy Spirit until you end up in glory, until you are right in the presence of God forever. And even then, we will be forever conscious of his presence. About two weeks after I was born again in a little firehouse church in 1979, I was baptized with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. I speak in tongues every day. I always ask the Holy Spirit to remind me if I have stopped praying in the Spirit because I want to be in constant communion with the Lord every moment of every day. When I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I had the backing of the scriptures. You will always be okay if you have the backing of the scriptures. I'd like to throw out a challenge to any person who can prove to me that he has the baptism in the Holy Spirit without speaking in tongues. I only say this because the Lord Jesus wants those who preach the word of God to have the word in evidence. Do not be misled by anything else. Make sure you have Bible proof for all you have, and then you will be in a place where no one can move you. Okay, let's take a look at the scriptures to prove my position. In the cases of law, if there are two clear witnesses, you could win a case before any judge. On the clear evidence of two witnesses, any judge will give a verdict. I'd like to give you three clear witnesses on the baptism in the Holy Spirit, more than are necessary in courts of law. The first is in Acts 2-4. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. See, quote, this is that which Joel prophesied about, and God wants you to have this and nothing less than this. He wants you to receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit according to this scripture. Secondly, In Acts 10, we have another witness. Cornelius had a vision of an angel and sent for Peter. The Bible tells us what happened when the power of God fell upon them. In Acts 10, 44 through 45, we read, While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who heard the word. And those of the circumcision who believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. What convinced these prejudiced Jews that the Holy Spirit had come? They heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. There was no other way for them to know. This evidence could not be contradicted. It is Bible evidence. Be sure that what you receive is always according to the Word of God. We've heard two witnesses, and that is sufficient to satisfy the world, but God gives us one better. Let's look at Acts 19.6. It says, And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. These Ephesians received the identical Bible experience as the apostles at the beginning, and they prophesied in addition. 
So, three times in the scripture we can see this evidence of the baptism in the Spirit. So, what are tongues for? Look at 1 Corinthians 14.2 and you'll see. It says, For he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but to God. For no one understands him, howbeit in the Spirit he speaks mysteries. It goes on to say in verse 4, He who speaks in a tongue edifies himself. Let us enter into all the promises of God and not miss out on one of them. It's your inheritance. I encourage you to ask the Lord to baptize you with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues and you will do more in one year when you are baptized in the Holy Spirit than you can do in 50 years without Him. I pray that you are so filled with Him that you will bring a revival everywhere you go. Well, praise the Lord. That's it for today. And if you were encouraged and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate. I love you in Christ Jesus and am praying for you today.